Well, now we have more information. Mm -hmm. I'm not recording. Crap. Now I'm recording. See, that would be bad. <laughs> but but you see you see what my my situation was last time, yeah, right? I was had, like, you had to not say anything. Yeah, like. I have to say this is this is my question for you. Then. Now that we I've seen two more episodes, which is really epic episodes. The conversation that Wells has with Cisco back to back in those episodes, he is literally saying the same thing. Yes. But it means such a different thing and it blew my mind. So how is it like for you playing those two separate scenes mm -hmm. kind of back to back? Um well first of all, we have amazing writers. Clearly. Like I, when I read that moment I was like, This is genius. This is brilliant. I love how they, they're turning around like this. Um it was very different. Um, I kind of just had to like wipe the slate, you know what I mean? And that, that was t tougher than you'd think, you know what I mean? Like we finished filming 15, like it took us two weeks and some change because we were also were breaking it up with the holiday, with the, ho the Christmas holiday when we were shooting it. And so like 15 was in our bodies and in our system and in our minds for this whole time. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, today we're starting 16. And I had to just wipe the slate clean completely and say, okay, none of that happened. I have to re I have to start this episode as if we had just finished episode 14. So I had to go back and reread it 14 and see where we left off from there. So it, it was a bit challenging for the brain, but like once 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 I got like into the the headspace of what was going on in 14, like r the r whole Ronnie situation had just happened, I was able to just like move on from there. It still gets kind of confusing. Sometimes, <laughs> Did you go on Twitter or any other form of social media after 15 and watch fans freak out? In, uh, in in real time yeah. okay. and it was madness it was like watching a car crash <laughs> it's like all of twitter was just like no 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 this can't be happening um but i'd be lying if i didn't get immense joy out of it if i didn't say it, i didn't get immense joy out of it because uh it was it made me very happy to see because well, fans are having a visceral reaction to something that's happening in the show that's what you dream of right so yeah I love it <laughs> and we finally got more backstory which like I know for me as a viewer like I've been waiting that for like the whole season yeah. it's like you've been funny the whole time great wanted more and then it also had this really great um, connection to like the fact that he's um, I don't know if he's Latin or Hispanic right. but you know and how is that for you to like bring that cultural element and you know to offer this representation that like there's not a lot of like Latin or Hispanic superheroes right. and then you potentially you're like building your way up to that maybe sure. <laughs> maybe <laughs> hint yeah um, <laughs> I, I think Greg Berlanti has always said it best, you know, we, we try to cast a show and create a show that is re more representative of the world that we live in, you know what I mean? And the world that we live in is one that's full of various races and various different types of people, you know? So it's, it kind of, it makes sense to me that our cast is as diverse as it is. On top of that, um, it makes me very happy that the writers are so fearless uh, in, as far as like, putting his culture out there and allowing uh, Cisco's relationship with his family and his culture to kind of um, to, to be shown and be portrayed. Um, and on top of that, uh, Latino fans are responding really positively to that. And that it's, it's, a, it's a privilege, you know, to be able to do that. Um, at the same time, you know, it's... <sighs> It's 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 a shame that it has to be an achievement, <laughs> you know what I mean? Of course. Uh, but but it is altogether, and uh, and I'm more than happy that it's happening the way that it is. Were you aware like the Cisco's big plan? You know, when he saw the script for 15, and he, you know, he got to that that page. Right. Were, you, did you, were you like, wait a minute, I, am I coming back next week? <laughs> like, are you guys firing me right now? You can just set, sit me down and fire me. You don't need to tell me in a passive aggressive script form. Um, no. <laughs> um, Andrew told me like weeks before we started filming the episode, so you're gonna die in the next episode, and I was like, awesome. I was just so excited because you know who doesn't want to die on camera? That sounds awesome. Um, so I was actually very excited to film it, um, and Andrew was very quick to <laughs> to assure me after he told me the news that I was gonna come back. You know, it's it's not a it's not something that sticks. And then he told me the kicker: Barry goes back in time, and that's how you you end up living and I'm like this show just gets better and better you know we keep like doing these like finale type you know um, episodes and um, I think it's what the fans really want so yeah it's cool 
And then the action that you had with uh, Hartley was super exciting to watch. Um, how much of that did you actually get to do yourself? Like the, the fighting stuff? Yeah. I actually, I, I did all of it. Like when we shot it, like uh, Andy and I, we, we did most of it. Um, I think there were just a couple of takes where they brought in the stunt guys. That's not to say that our stunt team isn't amazing because they are the bomb.com. Like they <laughs> nail it. Our stunt team is unbelievable. Um, but yeah, we did end up doing most of it. I mean, maybe like the parts where I like fall on my back like really hard, that wasn't me. But most of it we actually did do. You looked great. Thank you. Thank you very much. We rehearsed the crap out of that. <laughs> My question is, same episode, but the scene where you go and tell Barry that you pretty much gave up this secret um, was extremely moving. Mm. And I want to know, does that is? do you think that's going to affect the relationship uh, Cisco has with Barry moving forward? Or I know Barry try, is saying that it doesn't, but how do you see that and how are you kind of going to be playing that? Um, I think... Cisco has always been there for Barry, you know, uh, as a supportive team member, and also, you know, just as a general BFF, you know what I mean? Uh, but um, Barry, I think, finds it natural to reciprocate that, you know? He sees his friend, you know, in trouble and in distress and feeling like he's not a part of this team or that he doesn't belong. And naturally, he's he's going to lend a hand and, he, and be there for him. And I think that strengthens their relationship and also imbues Cisco with a sense of confidence. It allows him to understand that he does have a dynamic and he does have a function in this group. And he can be more fearless about that. And that is huge for Cisco's trajectory as a character throughout the season. How do you feel about someday possibly wearing a suit like Grant? I feel done. great about it. <laughs> I mean, what, is, is it comfortable for Grant? I mean, have you talked to him like, uh, what's it like? Do you, do you have to go to the bathroom? Or, <laughs> yeah, it's it's been tough for him, uh, especially at the beginning. But what's great about our team is that, you know, we went from having a really uncomfortable, really, like, totally unfeasible suit to something that he can work in every day. Like, they made modifications throughout that time. And now, like, Grant has a suit that he loves wearing, you know? Before it was like, I can't, I can't do anything. I can't move. I can't listen to any... I can't hear you. You know what I mean? But like now it's it's he, he it's so much more livable. So I look forward to you know I, I'm to hopefully, yeah, exactly. If that chance comes around, that'd be nice to have that experience. Because who doesn't want to wear a super suit? <laughs> I'm covering so that means we have time for one last question. Excellent. Or we just grab them. Oh. Yeah, so in like in carrying on with um, you mm -hmm. know the matter of like representation and all of that, you mm -hmm. know, what like how is that for you just like as a person like to be basically a, an ambassador like of, of culture? Uh, I mean, I didn't know it was going to be like that. Mm -hmm. And I actually didn't think about it like that, you know, cuz I'm 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 a product of a generation and a world that you know doesn't see that as an exception. Do you know what I mean? So when I started doing the show and I started playing this character, I didn't think of him as a Latino character. You know, I'm just trying to play this character and it just so happens that I'm Latino. You know what I mean? And it wasn't until I started getting all this feedback from the Latin fan base that was like, "We love how you're representing Latino characters." I'm like, Oh shit! <laughs> like, I'm an ambassador and shit, you know. Um, and it's it's a privilege. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you guys.